let's get into this flip through this is an rsl cover pockets lightly decorated i did add clip art stickers and sticky notes to the front um, i did junk my name page because i love doing that i added a pocket and a cute die cut from capital chic along with my go wild sticker i did tip in pages um, in the beginning section there is a lot of self-development pages everything from goal creation to uh, conquering your limiting beliefs and even a morning routine and loads of other more um, pages that you can think through your goals and then it jumps right into the month of January um, most of my stickers I'm just going to say now are from cuteness boutique I do use stickers from a lot of other shops but mainly cuteness boutique is where I get my stickers from um, so I do journal some days some days are just daily planning uh, this does have hourly so I can really iron out my meetings how long each task is taking me and then also list my to-do list for work and personal and then list my intentions and if I have any habits that I'm tracking that I would have set up at the beginning of the month and my goal creation those are all the things that I'm planning on a daily basis it also has like a really wonderful gratitude section um, at the top of the daily pages which I love um so the gratitude on the pages highlights what what is your focus for today? What are you proud of yourself for? And what's tomorrow's goal? And right now, what are you grateful for? Also at the end of the day, or I really also use this at the beginning, but there is an intention section where you can write out your intention and then something that you're just doing just for you. So it's very uh, broken down so that you can focus on those goals that you created at the beginning. Um, so now that we're in March, I do just want to call out that you will see blank pages in my planner. I am a human. I'm not a robot. And this planner is... Uh, where I dump my brain but every day my brain dumps don't make it here and some days I just want to decorate Ooh, this is when my friend came into town um, and I used <laughs> those honeybee shop stickers I really like uh, and I really also want to highlight that this is lovely to be able to just go back and remember what you have accomplished what you've done throughout the year and uh, what fun you've had uh, so also in the middle of the planner, you have these uh, self-development pages just to check in on those goals that you made at the beginning of the year or of the planner, depending on where you're at in the year when you start the planner and you can check in on those goals. Um, so some days are obviously more heavy than others because this is a daily planner it's really going to be able to highlight for you if you are consistent what is consistent in your life and I can say having a morning routine or just a consistent time that you reach for your planner every day to dump into your planner is very very beneficial so if you can't do it in the morning if you can do it you know as soon as you have a moment to just get everything out of your head it's very beneficial and it's also relaxing for me to add the stickers the highlighters and things like that as far as the hourly it's really helpful for me to see how long I'm taking on each task and it really helped me understand that although I do have so much time in my day I literally cannot do everything so it allows me to minimize what I put on my to-do list because I can see things on a daily basis. Ooh, y'all saw like we went to go see Little Mermaid. <laughs> I love that sticker from Capital Chic Designs. And so now we are in June. This is the last month in this planner. This is a six-month planner. And as you can see towards the end, I tried to be a little more succinct with my color schemes and just kind of pulling them all together for the weeks. I, it wasn't consistent throughout because I didn't think about it, but towards the end, I did try to give it more of a vibe, but I really love that about dailies because it's really what is happening that day is what's going to make it on the page. 
Also, I just want to call out that planning your weekends is so clutch, especially as a mom, just to make sure that you get all of the little things done. So at the end, I was able to fill out the self-development that I didn't complete in the middle of the planner. And then I also took full advantage of all of the password pages and random list pages that you have at the back of the planner. My most favorite one is this one, which is my master grocery list. It was came in handy so many times really invaluable i really encourage everyone to do it uh, so thank you so much for watching my video and sticking around to the end give it a thumbs up and see you in the next one